whole different place. And that also worked better for the family because then if my kids are out of preschool at one o'clock, I'm home and I'm there with them for the rest of the evening. Yeah. Yeah. So I I spent four years on a morning show um, today in LA. Today in LA, big show, huge following, huge audience. Yes. You know, you, you said something, maybe you did this intentionally, but you said you wanted to go back to a sunny place. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, And then gave birth to a sunny space. That's true. Uh, That was another, this was another big change. Um, It was four years into my contract in LA and I just, I had done 15 years of broadcasting and traveling around the country and I wanted to change my lifestyle. You can only wake up with a 2 a.m. alarm for so long and it just, it did, I couldn't be my best self. Girlfriend, my, my alarm goes off at 5.15 a.m. to do yoga a few times <laughs> a week. And that is like ridiculously early. I can't even imagine. Yeah, it's, it's ungodly for me. It's just not natural. I feel like those hours are not um, what we're supposed to be doing. I mean, maybe if you got to do it temporarily. But I, I couldn't see myself signing another four or five year contract and putting myself through that because I would go to work, have my coffee, feel pretty good through the morning. You know, that's when I had my energy. I have to turn it on for live television for many hours. Um, Always give it my best. But then I would go home and I felt like my husband and my kids weren't getting the best of me. No, because by then I just felt hungover and gross every single day. You know, you drink too much coffee, you've been up since two and you crash. Yeah. And then I was going to bed at 7 p.m. So I also saw the demands it was putting on my husband. He's getting them off in the mornings to, you know, preschool. And eventually my oldest was in kindergarten and he's also doing the nighttime routine. I'm like, oh, thank God bless him. But that's a lot. Mm. So. So again, lifestyle coming into play and and really trying to take care of yourself and your family, you created a sunny space. And I think that what you're doing with a sunny space is really exciting because you're really, you're really telling stories and you, at the end of the day, journalism is all about telling a story, but your storytelling has a, a really cool focus. Can you share a little bit about that? Sure. So after I left LA, my, we moved our family here to San Diego, which is ultimately home. So we've got our, our parents in both directions, like 20 minutes, give or take. So this is the final destination. Yeah. Um, we're getting more help, which is awesome. And I wanted to create my own content after being involved in the news media for so long. Uh, I felt like I want to put some something good in the world. You know, you're not always half, I mean, let's say 80% of the time is not good news. Yeah. And I also didn't feel like- I think that's like, generous, by the way. I feel like lately it's more <laughs> like 90%. Yeah, you're probably right, 90%. And I think I shared this with you that even, you know, before my weather reports, we'd have a, a talker story, you know, and I'd have to chime in on it. And a lot of times we were just promoting like the new fast food item at Taco Bell or something or the shamrock shake. And I come from a pretty healthy lifestyle with my husband. And I just started to feel like I don't, be- I don't agree with this content. Mm. I don't know if it's, I just felt that way that I, I want to create something brighter and more inspiring. So it started with, I I come down here to San Diego. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I think I'll freelance. I'll figure it out. (laughs) And I I started a blog called Sunny Space and it just started to morph into uh, what it is today. And I got some help from a brand manager getting it all created. And I think the driving, the driving factor was certainly creating a platform for my daughters of women that they could look up to that I didn't see enough of in the media. Mm. So yeah, that's how it it started. And and we're sharing stories about bold and inspiring women and brands that are reshaping our world. And I recently had a collaboration with a women's denim brand called Cut from the Cloth. And 
the idea was let's go beyond the models that you see on Instagram. Like let's find these real women with amazing stories, comeback stories, or, you know, overcoming something to live their best life. And let's showcase that through your clothing. Yeah. Um, let's go deeper. And that's, so we've been, we produced a digital documentary series and I think we're on our eighth feature now. So that's really exciting. And I get to be behind the production and interview these women. And I just love it. And for everybody listening, we'll take a look at the show notes and you'll, you'll see a link to the website, but it's a sunny space.com beautifully done. Um, the website is gorgeous and I love these stories. You know, I instantly gravitate towards, um, documentaries myself and like I'm a Netflix addict when it comes to like anything that has to do with real life because to me that is what inspires me to see the the trailblazers and to see the people who have done it but nobody's story or nobody's journey is without challenge and I I think that that's what makes a journey so interesting there's always something where you're like, wow, I can't believe they got over that. I mean, I've never heard an inspiring story where somebody says like, yeah, I came up with this idea and invented it and became an overnight success. I'm kind of like, uh, BS. I'm calling right. BS right now. So, <laughs> it's uh, like your own story. That's why I couldn't wait to interview you because I love the transformation you've had in your life. And it just shows that it is possible. It's, I want to help people get unstuck. You know, it's like we only get this one life. And if you're, if you're just settling, it's frustrating to me. I don't, I don't know if it's because I've watched my daughter become my hero that she's just showed me that anything's possible. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful way to pay it forward. So I encourage everybody to check it out and, and check out all the stories. Everybody is inspiring in their own beautiful, unique way. And as you unfold your story through a sunny space, you know, what, what does, what does the future look like? What's the next goal for you? I hate to do that, by the way, I'm doing this mostly because I know people are going to want to hear it, but I think it's beautiful to bask in what, in the sun that you're in right now, but what is your next goal? Oh, so one thing I'm also doing on the side is I've started a consulting weather company. It's called Monarch Weather Consulting because I, I do still have that passion for weather and I wanted to keep it alive. You know, that that's still there. I don't have to get up at two in the morning and give the forecast on TV, but I, I'm helping people by consulting, but helping businesses. So I want to keep growing that business. And I have a uh, two brilliant meteorology meteorologist friends that are on my team. And then I want to keep putting out these stories. This is sort of my labor of love. Like just creating sunny space and seeing it come to life is, is so awesome. I, I would love to have some kind of series on Netflix that is, or, you know, a digital platform. Yeah. That's the ultimate dream. Uh, right now, just being able to produce the content for a brand and put it out there in all these different ways is so, so rewarding. But I think if I just keep following my heart and I want to put, I want to do something greater than myself, you know, something that's going to help people. I feel like I always just wanted, I wanted to help uh, my dad. I, I, he died of alcoholism. I couldn't help him. And I, I wish I could go back and do that, but maybe this is a way of offering service. Oh, you, you do. And your stories are beautifully told. And I think, you know, the journey is one where you find joy in being able to pay it forward. And you're definitely doing that, not just in your stories, but just in your sunny disposition, which I love. So I, I have to ask you a couple questions. We get into, this is like the speed round. So we okay. have just a few minutes left, but if you had one last meal, okay, not to be morose, but you're like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to make this, or I'm going to have somebody make it for me. What would it be? Oh, my mom's chili, green chili, chicken enchiladas. Oh, that sounds, what do you love about them? That sounds delish. Oh, it's just, I think it's, 
nostalgic. It reminds me of my childhood. Um, the green sauce, the sour cream, the chicken, the cheese. I know it sounds so healthy, <laughs> but that would that would be my meal. Okay, I I'm digging on that. And so San Diego, like Mexican food, of course. Yes. Now, uh, now, who would you want if there was one person that you could meet to share that meal with? Who would it be? Oh gosh, one person I could. Meet. Um, 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 I just, I just met someone amazing yesterday and I had a meal with her on my birthday, Kelly Kitley, who I interviewed for Sunny Space. And gosh, if you asked me yesterday, I would be like Kelly Kitley, but then I met her. So um, how about Brene Brown? Brene Brown. She would be so fun to have a meal with. She's I hilarious too. I she love probably, like, the- have you like belly laughing. That would be amazing. And just, I think being in the company of people who are living their truth and are, that just inspires me. It's only going to make my life better. So have you seen her Netflix special? Yes, I have. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Pretty awesome. And last but not least, if you could share one concise little nugget of wisdom from all of your experiences for future generations, what would it be? Ooh. I would say you don't have to be a victim of your past or your circumstances. You don't have to let that define you. You know, you, you have the chance to live the life <laughs> that you dream of, you know, to don't, don't let that hold you back and go after what truly, truly sets your heart on fire. I love that so much. Perfect ending to a beautiful discussion. Thank you so much, Crystal. And for everybody listening, please check out the show notes for all of the links that we've chatted about today, a sunny space.com. Thank you again, Crystal. Thank you so much, Maria. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. I know you have a lot of choices out there of what to listen to, what to watch. So it means a lot to me that you're here with me. And hey, if you love this content, would you hit the subscribe button? I want you around. I don't want you to just show up for one episode and leave. I want you here, part of the conversation, a seat at this table. And while you're at it, would you share this with your friends and family? And if you take a screenshot and share it on your social media with a hashtag RFYBL for Recipes for Your Best Life, I'll make sure to personally give you a shout out and you may just be featured right here on the show. So until next time, here's to living deliciously and being the chef of your best life.